Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to write the quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 given the following roots. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So for number 1 class, we have x equals 5 and x equals 9. So we can write this one x equals 5. These are the roots and x equals 9. Now do you still remember class in getting the value of x? This x equals 5. We can also write this one as x minus 5 equals 0. When we equate this one into 0, x minus 5 equals 0. To get the value of x or to get the roots, we can just simply sub transpose this negative 5 from left to right. This is negative and it will change the sign. It will be positive 5. So therefore, this one is just the same with this one. So to get the quadratic equation, we do it reverse. When we have our roots, we need to transpose this 5 from right to left. Okay, because this is x minus 5 equals 0. It's the same with x equals 5. So we do it reverse class. So this will be, so we transpose 5 from right to left. This will be x minus 5. And this 9 plus, we transpose this one from right to left. This is positive 9. It will be x minus 9. It will be negative 9. Then equals 0 class. Then after you have this one, once again, we do it reverse. We transpose 5 from right to left. Same with 9. And once you have this one, you can do the FOIL method. Okay, to find the quadratic equation. So doing the FOIL method. So first, outer, inner, last. So first, x times x. That would be x squared. Outer, x times negative 9. So that would be negative 9x. Positive times negative is negative. x times 9 is 9x. Inner, negative 5, times x, negative times positive is negative, 5 times x is 5x. Then last, negative 5 times negative 5, so negative times negative, that's positive 45 equals 0. And then we combine like terms, combine this one, so copy x squared. Then so one second class, if you have both negatives, simply copy negative sign, then add the numbers. Okay, so negative 9 minus 5, that's negative 14. X, then copy 45, equals 0. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? That's the answer for number 1, class. So once again, you transpose 5 from right to left, same with 9. Then you do the FOIL method, and then you combine like terms. Negative 9, negative 5, copy negative sign, then add the numbers. Alright, so let me erase this one, number 1. That's the answer for number 1 plus E is right for number 1. So let me write the answer here, x squared. So the answer a while ago, x squared minus 14x plus 45 equals 0. Let's try number 2 plus. So for x equals negative 2, you always write the x value. x is negative 2. And the other one is x equals 3. So once again, we transpose negative 2 from right to left. So this will be, transpose this one, this will be x plus 2. This is positive, this is negative 2, it will be positive 2. x plus 2 times, okay, you transpose this one, this is positive 3. It will be negative 3, x minus 3. Then equals 0. And then use the FOIL method class. FOIL method. First, first outer inner less. Alright, so x times x, that would be x squared. First, then outer, x times negative 3, that's negative 3x. Then inner, 2 times x, positive 2 times positive x, that's positive 2x. Then last, positive 2 times negative 3, positive times negative is negative, 2 times 3 is 6, equals 0. And then you combine like term class. Combine this one. So this will be x squared, then negative 3 times negative 3x plus 2x. If the signs are not the same with regards to the integers, you subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So negative 3 plus 2, subtract because they don't have the same sign. 3 minus 2 is 1. Then copy x. Then for the sign class, since 3 is greater than 2, we have negative 1x. 
or you can actually erase one class understood that any variable if you didn't see any number understood that there's one here okay so you can write it negative x once again any variable example for x squared understood that there's one here same with this one so we can just simply write negative x or you can actually put one x class that's okay but it's understood that there's one here there's one here okay so negative 3 plus 2 subtract 3 minus 2 is 1 then copy x negative 1 negative 1x then copy negative 6 equals 0 that's it plus that's your answer x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0 all right let's try number 3 and for number 4 and 5 plus, what if you have fractions? So what would be the thing that you will do? Alright, so number 3, x equals negative 9, and the other root x equals 0. So for negative 9 plus, you transpose negative 9 from right to left. So this is negative, it will be positive x plus 9. Now, if your x is 0 plus, just simply copy x. Okay, because if you transpose 0... From right to left, this will be x minus 0, and we don't have negative 0 class. Okay, we don't have negative 0. So if you have x equals 0, just simply write x multiplied by x. That's it. Then equal 0. Once again, if you have x equals 0, just simply write x. And then we do the distributive property class. Okay, so distribute x times x and then x times 9 so x times x that would be x squared then x times 9 that's positive 9x then equals 0 that's it plus that's the answer for number 3 easy right for number 3 so x times x x squared x times 9 is 9x then equals 0 so the answer is x squared plus 9x equals 0 now, what if you have this equation? Okay, fraction, given fraction. So, x equals negative 2 over 3 and x equals 3 over 4. So, the thing that you will do, class, do not transpose this equation directly because you will commit mistakes. Now, if the given is fraction, do not transpose this given equation from right to left directly. So the thing that you will do if you have fractions, you need to cross multiply first. Okay, cross multiply. Understood that there's equal sign. And this x here, denominator of 1. So if you have a fraction, you cross multiply first before doing the transpose. So cross multiply. Okay, you multiply this one and this one. So this will be x times 3. That's 3x. Three then 1 times 2. So copy equal sign. 1 times negative 2, that's negative 2. And then you transpose. Now, you can transpose this one. Since we don't have fraction anymore. So, this will be 3x, then negative 2, transpose from right to left. This is negative. It will be positive 2. And this will be your first factor. This one, understood that there's one here. You cross multiply. Once again, you do cross multiplication if the given is fraction. So this will be x times 4, that's 4x, equals 1 times 3, that's 3. Then you transpose 3 from right to left. This will be 4x, okay, this is positive, it will be negative 3, then equals 0. Alright, and then once you transpose, you can do the FOIL method. FOIL method, first outer inner class. So first, 3x times 4x. That's 12x squared. So 3 times 4 is 12. x times x is x squared. Outer, 3x times negative 3. 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. Positive times negative is negative 9. Copy x class. x times none, simply copy x. So 3x times negative 3, that's negative 9x. Inner, 2 times 4. 2 times 4x, that's positive 8x. Then last, 2 times negative 3, positive times negative is negative, 2 times 3 is 6, then equals 0. Then combine like terms. So this will be 12x squared. Then you can combine this one. Once again, plus you cannot combine x squared and x because the exponent of this x is just 1. We can only combine this one. Okay, negative 9x and 8x. 
So negative 9 plus 8, if they, if they don't have the same sign, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. So negative 9 plus 8, 9 minus 8 is 1. And 9 is greater than 8, so we have negative 1x minus 6 equals 0. So negative 1x, you can just simply erase 1, understood that there's 1 here. So this will be our final answer. So 12x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Alright, so that's it class. If you have fractions, that's the thing that you will do. Let's try number 5. So once again, you copy this equation. So x equals, your x is 1 over 4. So once again class, if you're referring to the roots, that's the value of x. x is equals to 1 fourth and the other one x equals 8. So once again, since you have fractions for this one, you need to cross multiply. Understood that there's one here. Then you cross multiply. So this will be x times 4. That's 4x. 1 times 1 is 1 equals 1. Of course, this one copy first. x equals 8. Then we transpose class. Transpose 1 from right to left. And this, this 8 from right to left. So this will be 4x. This is positive 1. It will be negative 1 times, this is positive 8, it will be negative 8, x minus 8, equals 0. Then do the FOIL method class. First, outer, inner last. Alright, so this will be 4x times x. So 4x times x, that will be 4x squared. Then outer, 4x times negative 8. So 4 times negative 8, that's negative 32. x times none, copy x. So, 4x times negative 8, that's negative 32x. Then, inner, this one. Negative 1 times x, that's negative 1x. Negative 1x, or you can write negative x. That's the same plus. Negative 1x or x. Negative x, that's the same. Then, last, negative 1 times negative 8, that's positive 8. Negative times negative is positive. Alright, and then you combine this one, combine like terms. So this will be for x squared, negative 32 minus 1, understood that there's 1 here. So if the signs are the same, simply copy the sign, then add the numbers. 32 plus 1, that's 33, then x. Then copy 8, equals 0. That's the answer class for number 5. Easy, right? So 4x squared minus 33x plus 8 equals 0. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you convert this one, this roots into quadratic equation. Okay, so if you have some questions with this one class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. Now you try number 6 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic. So once again, this is Teacher MJ, and I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your classmates class so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.